You want to make something cool? Yeah. Wait, you didn't hear the options. Cool, really cool, or really, really, really cool. Really, really, really cool. Just feel like yeah. if you don't lay the foundation of science education when they're young, if you think about the foundation of a building, it doesn't occur on the third and fourth and fifth floor. It occurs at the bottom. I learned about the five senses. They're seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing and touching. Here we have bearded dragons, we have blue tongued skinks, we have hamsters, we have Madagascar cockroaches, we bring in fiddler crabs. Well I first found out about Carmelo from a New York Times article my friend sent me when I was pregnant and I had just moved to Brooklyn and it was about the cove because he hadn't opened a school yet and how parents were waiting and spending the night in line waiting for it to open so they could sign up their kid. I've been teaching now for 20 years, 17 of them were for the Department of Education. Look at your hands. They, they, they look like they're clean, but wait a minute. What's really on them? Everybody say, hello, germ. Hello, germ. I don't like you. I don't like you. Germ, germ everywhere. Germ, germ everywhere. They could be on your hair. They could be on your hair. Even under underwear. Oh. His teaching is so enthusiastic, so uh, targeted to the right age group. You know what the germ's doing right now? He's saying, little skin, little skin, let me in. I think science instruction uh, for our kid is important because it teaches her to ask questions um, and be super duper curious about the world around her. But wait a minute, the germs are invisible. And do you know what they're doing? They want to get in your body. So he was seeing a cause and effect relationship. And just the fact that he's three years old and able to do that is amazing. I breathe in the air and the germs got in my body. The learning doesn't end when she leaves the class. Do you know the human body has a superhero right inside of your nose? Do you know what it is? What, what do you think it is? Boogers. What? Boogers. Ugh, don't say that. Boogers. Don't say that. Boogers. And don't pretend Boogers. to like sneeze and a booger flies out. Uh, ah, oh. Science and entertaining works me because science is very, very hands-on, right? It's the only subject matter that is just magical. You know, it's all about asking what questions. It's, it's you know, it's make, asking questions. It's making predictions. It's testing. It's, it's sharing. It's just, it's action, you know? So when you apply all that together, it just creates magic, you know? Look, your boogies are in your nose. All of a sudden, the germs that are purple, they get stuck to the boogie. They get stuck to the just, boogie. It, it's a lot more real when you're connecting subject matters to the real world and to nature. Do you want to make a fake boogie? Just imagine looking at every other subject matter through a scientific lens from literacy, art, to movement. So we got to make the boogie really look and feel like a boogie. Now you know what I'm going to do? For fun, we'll give it a color. Because when you're really sick, your boogies are green because it's catching lots of what? I don't hear you. Um, I think that's a credit to the quality of Carmelo's instruction and just his enthusiasm and passion for, for his job that it really uh, gets the kids really engaged and excited about science as well. And we're going to count to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Time out. Why did you do that? That was disgusting. No, no, did you see what he did? No. Why'd you do that? I couldn't do it. Why'd you do what you just did? I couldn't. Did, oh, it wasn't you. It was you. Why'd you do that? No, I didn't. Did you see what Jaden did? We were counting to 10, and Jaden, oh, Jaden, dude, do you need a tissue? No. Then, Jaden, why in the world did you sneeze in my cup? Ugh. There's a lot of what we do doesn't require very expensive materials. You know, we're just basics. Do you know what this can do? Here's the question. If this is a boogie, and I walk around the room and put this on the floor, or put this under the chair, and I peel it up, and I look, did it catch all of the germs? It's kind of fun to see his inquiry here, also coming at home, and something that he 
enjoys doing a science experiment. Which is so everybody say science question of the day. Science question of the day. You're about to hear me say. You're about to hear me say. Will our booger, Will our booger catch, some germs? catch some germs? So who wants to go on a germ hunt? Me. Me is boring. Say oh 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 yeah. Oh oh oh. oh no, that's boring. Yeah. Say oh yeah. And if you think magicians and clowns, it's more of a show where the magician is doing the act while the kids are sitting watching. The clown is doing the balloon animals, but the kids aren't being taught how to do the balloon animals. When you do a science party, the kids are doing everything. All right, are you guys ready? Once we add this liquid to your liquid, there's the reaction which makes it look just like a real booger. And now pick up your boogie. Pick up the boogie. Did you catch any germs? Did you catch germs? Just like your nose, good job. Everybody try to catch some germs. So if you instill a love of science, education, technology, engineering, and math, and you do it at the ages of threes and fours, you're establishing a love of it now. You're laying the foundation. These are memories that will stay with the kids throughout life, and then hopefully take it with them through high school and college, and then create the future inventors, engineers, and innovators of America. He's a big marshmallow.